How hard should Manchester United fight to keep Edison Cavani, you think? Well, all he's made it clear there, I think they are trying to keep him. He's obviously got an option of another year, but he's an experienced player. You've got to respect that. All he's made some good points there. There's been a lot going on in the background with COVID, family situations, moving to a new country. There's no doubt in his quality. You obviously won't get him for 40 or 50 games a season. Would Cavani then want to just be a squad player? United still have Martial, they're in the probably market for another striker. Lots go into the mix. Today would have done the world of good, playing an important game and scoring. But big question mark, but I'd love him to stay because he is great to watch. D to clarify, do you think they should be in the market for another striker, regardless of whether Cavani stays yeah, or not? 100%, because United, they'll need, you know, Martial is, is injury problems, you wouldn't hang your hat on him. Cavani again pushing on again. You wouldn't expect him to be playing every week. United, if they want to get back to you know winning titles, they certainly need another striker. Who are we talking about? Kane, Haaland. I take any of them. Who'd be your choice? Probably Haaland because of his age and obviously the the investment behind it. But uh, I wouldn't say no to Kane either if he was the <laughs> second option. <laughs> Jamie, I think one thing. It depends, really. Because of United have good young players there, you've already got, obviously, Rashford and Greenwood. Kane might fit because he's got that bit more experience, especially if you were to lose Cavani. For other teams, they might look at, at Haaland, maybe Man City, having lost Aguero, you go for someone slightly younger. But, I mean, they're both lovely players. And whatever one you get, you'd be delighted with. Micah? Uh, Kane, Kane, Haaland's got, I think, obviously, resale value, which we all know because he's so young. But Kane, if you want someone who knows he's going to do the business straight away, you can't think, you know, further than Kane. You know, you see him today at times, he's, he's very frustrated in this team. The way Man United counter-track, I, I think he would be perfect. But it, it's, it's not fair for me to say Kane should be, you know, uh, going to, you know, he's a Spurs player at this moment in time. And he needs to focus on that because, you know, that's the most important thing. He wants to get them in the Champions League. And if we don't get in the Champions League, you know, we can have this conversation at the end of the year. I think it'd be a centre-back that would be one of the most important things as well when I look at what United need. I think Lindelof and, and Maguire, certainly Lindelof today with that mistake. And I always, there are times where I look and think he can get bullied as a defender. That's an area where they want to improve as well. Um, but if they could get a centre-forward in, of course, you'd do that. But a centre-back, I think, is probably more important for them right now. But even for Kane, you know, Kane today and I will be looking at this United team and, listen, they've made progress over the last 12 months. Surely Kane must be thinking, this tonight. I could be the top man at Man United up front, you know. With Bruno as well? Of course, with the service he'd be getting. Kane must yeah, fancy United. If, if, if you're going to leave Spurs, surely he'd probably go any, anywhere in, in, in the world, Kane. Surely you'd pick somewhere where you're guaranteed trophies. And because Man United are still in that rebuilding stage, you know, it, it might be three, four years before. If I'm Kane and the form that I'm in, We've seen the stats before. What was it? 19 goals, 13 assists. Ridiculous, ridiculous. I'd be going to, to the team that's going to get the most trophies. I think Kane, I think Kane fancies United. I just have that feeling. He'd fancy United. Who, who told you that? Just a gut feeling, Mika. <laughs> Do you think he's guaranteed to win trophies if he did go to United? If, Kane, if Kane's in the United team... As night follows day, yeah. Yeah, but what, what, what sort of trophies are we talking about? We keep but talking about... I think about... they're going to win the Europa League. Well, I, they have to win that. With a position they've got themselves in now, yeah. they've got to be favourites for that. No, and then all of a sudden, then you check, once you win one trophy, I'm sure then it becomes... Europa League's you know, a, a, a really good trophy. A start, but yeah. We're talking about if you, you want the Premier League and you want the Champions League. Man United have closed the gap on City and Kane would then be another huge step. Yeah. No doubt Man City are obviously going to buy as yeah, well, of course. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. It would be a huge and maybe step. Ha you know, maybe um, Kane maybe doesn't want to go abroad. Maybe he likes playing in England again. He knows the league inside out. And, Man United, Man United is still a there's, huge, huge pull. There's a space up there's top for him at City. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah, we're, talk, we're, we're talking about how many four Premier League trophies in the last ten years, Man City. You know, why would you pick, if it was an option, why would you pick a rebuilding stage when he's rebuilding stage at Spurs? Well, well you, just staying on Manchester United, do you think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is... is guaranteed to take Manchester United two trophies if he does indeed earn a new contract which has been talked about. Well, there's no guarantee but the progress they've made over the last 12 months they'll all be delighted at the club. You know, obviously cemented second place. You'd expect them again to do well in Europe like they're doing. Obviously the, the, the big carrot from is the Champions League. 
and they've had huge setbacks, you know, setbacks. You know, going over the Champions League when they got in a great position, the Leicester game a few weeks ago. But in terms of the league, they've closed the gap to Man City. And if they can get one or two players, and I know Man City will go and get one or two, they've definitely closed that gap. And if you can add a Kane or somebody to the group, then yeah, and I think Ollie will will be rewarding this summer. There's no doubt Ollie will be getting another contract uh, to be at Man United for the next two or three years.